Hello everyone and welcome to the Dope Dichotomy Podcast. I'm your host, Mona Brown. Today I have a very, 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 very special episode. We're going to be discussing some hot topics that have been in the news. And I have the good fellas from Ish Talk TV here. Yeah. Fellas, please introduce yourself. Tell them a little bit about where you're from and then we'll get right into it. Well, this is your boy AJ Turnup. A.K.A. Buff Curry out this joint right here. You know, it's yeah, Talk on, TV. Hey, yeah. We the most entertaining show in the DMV. We They're dope. Barbershop talk. We just talk about things that nobody, a lot of people don't have the balls to say, especially in this time and age. We just out here spitting, you know, that ish. We just bring it out here. You know what I'm saying? You can always follow the Ish Talk TV separately. A Turner underscore 813. You gonna know me. And that's how it be. Yeah, and I'm B Moore, A.K.A. Princess Amunda. And I'm the host. <laughs> He uh, looks like Bristol. And uh, he is. You know, we started this thing in like 2014. Uh, so before, you know, Obama. So yeah, this was uh, no, this was uh, yeah, second Obama term. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we uh, talk about grown man shit, and we go, we um, talk about shit that people won't say out loud. We just, you know, yep, doing how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. The Lord Show. <laughs> and they're very excited to be here. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thank you was on our show. I was on their show, and it was so fun and dope because y'all know I'm a hip hop music head, and we discuss hip hop and different topics. And you know, I get along very well with men conversation, so it was dope. Very opinionated and strong with it. I liked it. Like she was yeah. like, "Yeah, that's nice," but I disagree. I was like, "I like." So it. y'all know if I if I have an opinion on something, then be ready to challenge with like reasons because if I have an opinion, I know what I'm talking about. Ooh. I don't never, I, really not, that's how I am. I don't express myself about something unless I really, if I feel strongly, I already know what I'm talking about. You knew Cardi B was pregnant? I did. <laughs> I, two months before, y'all run it back. I said it. I said, man, look, first of all, I don't have kids. When she was dancing, everybody was like, oh, her and Meg, they scissoring. All I kept saying was, why is she moving like that? <laughs> then I was like, she's pregnant. Mm. And I was right. Hey. Speaking of Cardi B, before we get into everything, did y'all happen to catch Culture's birthday party the other day? No, I... Uh... I know, I know. It's not something <clears throat> that nobody would normally watch. I literally got jealous of a toddler's birthday party when I watched it. <laughs> I was like, why have I never had that? <laughs> it was the most extravagant princess party I've ever seen in my life. Uh-huh. It was dope. It was dope. It was a dope party. They, she had, they had all these real life princesses, wow. offset Cardi twerking with balls and culture just looks overwhelmed and there's unicorns and it was dope, but I was very jealous. So <laughs> I will be, yeah, I, will I be ain't too. jealous. Like, we just had, we just had a regular ass cake and yeah. some uh, store cake. I grew up with Jehovah's Witness. Some, I didn't have a cake oof. or a birthday. What you have? Just Nothing until I got older. I, we didn't celebrate birthdays. No holidays. I had no holidays. When did you know? Did you know what a birthday was? <laughs> yeah, all my friends had them. Oof. I was just a kid on the bus telling everybody Santa Claus wasn't real. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. I, I mean, was that evil person. <laughs> I was about to say, man, she could have used the excuse. She could have been a leap year child at least <laughs> every four years, come up with something. But damn, um, Miss Brown, your your daughter is causing trouble in our schools. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Uh, right, the kids don't. She said Santa, Santa Claus doesn't exist. Right, and the stork isn't there, and that's why her dad's not here. Exactly. Oof. Yeah, nah. you know that ain't your real daddy. I, yeah, I grew up on hot dogs, ice cream, and hug, huggy drinks. So, oh, the and they were a blast. And, 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 the yeah. energy and the atmosphere was all we needed. That's all you needed. Yeah. You yeah, know. I definitely went to some birthday parties, but nope. I, my first birthday party was that I remember was fifth grade, and I couldn't call it a birthday party. It was a slumber party, but it was really for my birthday. Ah, mm-hmm. I got you. And the funniest part about that, because I still have pictures, is my mom and her friend or made us two cakes or decorated <laughs> the cakes, and my friend Angel was moving away. Mm-hmm. My cake says something, something nice, Mona, and the... <laughs> I still have the pictures. The other cake says, bye, Angel. (laughs) (laughs) Horrible. But in those pictures, and if you're watching and you grew up with me and Will. Poor Angel. And you were there. (laughs) Because there are a couple people on my Facebook um, timeline who was actually at that party. Um, If you remember, I had a jean overall spray painted with nothing but wrappers spray painted on me. Because I've been about this. Ever since I was little. Fifth grade. I have pictures of it. Jehovah Witness. (laughs) Crazy as hell. (laughs) Yeah, um, I definitely, definitely have memories with that. All right, Eric, we're going to get into the first slide. All right. 
All right, let's get to it. All right, so should rappers have security? Mm. So for you guys who don't know, um, one of the biggest songs of the, I guess what's Bring is Back in Blood, right? Yeah. Get him Back in Blood. Yeah, I remember. With Pooh Shiesty. Mm -hmm. And he has a line in the song where he says, I don't need security. You know what I'm saying? The club. He got his, he, he already got his strap. Well, recently, he was in the club and he had a strap. In some kind of way, it went off. <laughs> <laughs> and initially, he was arrested and someone said, oh, Pooh Shiesty had it. Well, a couple days later, he said, oh, I don't know what was going on. I was in shock. I don't remember because they got to him, obviously. But the judge said no, and he locked up Pooh Shiesty. If you have been following hip hop, we know that there is a effort to lock a lot of them up. Yeah. And th at the same time, they're making really, really, really dumb. You got camera for under December. <laughs> My mom is mad about the. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened? My mom said, "Stop that mess. You got a camera recorder in December. Stop it." <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, damn. I got a camcorder in December. Yes, I did. That's look. not what we're talking about. We're talking about birthday parties. That was a hey, look, I'm a, look, <laughs> leave the moms alone. Look, I'm gonna tell you one thing: in the black community, if a mom ever released a diss track, it's over. It's over. No, every rapper will. Hey, I look. don't know why she got offended, but everybody knows my mom is Jehovah's Witness, and I definitely grew up without birthdays, so I'm not sure what that's about. Mom, get off the podcast. If you can't take it, you have to go on somewhere. I don't know yeah, what's I that ain't about. Saying nothing on that. She, she, mom, love they, you. They, yeah. She said I started you out. I gave you a exactly. recording. Oh. <laughs> My mom is saying she made me. That's what she made. And she she's, did, right? She's soldier she boy you right now. She got uh -huh. receipts. Man, look. If I got Fast and, Fast and the Furious 9 in the theaters right now, everybody go see it. <laughs> but anyway, so um, the Pooh Shiesty thing, basically we, we keep seeing rappers get in trouble where they're in some type of um, scuffle or disagreement. And then mm -hmm. instead of having paid security deal with the problem, they are taking it in their own hands and they're ended up locked up. So, in hip hop, just knowing you got plenty too many. What are you, Ma? <laughs> a hit dog will holler. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but please stop. Please. <laughs> a hit dog will holler. I'm using that one. She taught me that one. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not even like coming it, for. I'm not even coming for. It's just what it is. Like we did a not have birthdays one. growing up. Anyways, um. So, do you guys feel like in order to be authentic in hip hop, if the person is claiming they're hard, they're this, they're that, they shouldn't have to have security? Or do you think it's silly to be famous, have lots of money, and roll around with no security? I'll tell you my opinion. I think it's dumb as shit. <laughs> I have, think it's dumb to not have security. To not have security, to take matters into your own hand, especially when you already got one foot still in the hood it's dumb and we we already know there's hip-hop police we already know these things so why would you set yourself up i think i understand why a lot of them do it because unfortunately in hip-hop culture if you're seen as not authentic then you know you, you don't get as much like recognition we're the only culture that does that though you know what i'm saying like and movies can you can you can go and act in a movie and go back home and it's fine you can be a rock star and then go and you know raise cows but mm. in hip-hop it's like oh if you rapped about it you have to be that mm. so i think that's the pressure they feel um doing that what do you guys think you want to start out with this one princess amunda go princess ahead. amunda go ahead it is a damn shame <laughs> that these okay it's it's a shame that we have to like we have to like that matters like realness matters on how many bodies you catch because this king von thing that people are still talking mm. about like Apparently, we have a, uh, another co-host, Ron, and he's and he listened to Chicago rap, drill rap, drill music, yep. drill music, and it talks about you know, you you the the more followers and the more like bodies you, bodies you catch, the more followers you have. Yes, the bigger you get. The bigger you get. So and with especially somebody with Pooh Shiesty, someone with so much potential. So much potential. He just came out. And then you on camera in a foreign car coming out <laughs> shooting people. It's like, you got to have security. Just let them take care you of whatever it is. You got to have security. And little babies fighting people uh, every other week. Free little baby. Free little baby. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the baby. One of those people. Oh, one, no. One Doug, of the babies fighting. But 
little baby got arrested in Paris. One of the people. Dumb baby one is of the fighting people fighting every other somebody. day. Yeah. So it's just too. It's just unfortunate that you have to do that, but you gotta have security because if you talk that real shit, we have we have people in the hood that want to come up to you and want to. See if you about that life. So unfortunately, especially when their stomach hurting, they they hungry. Hey man, I gotta, I gotta take a shit, man. What you want? What you want? What you want? <laughs> no, you said you pop those guns. What's up? I can't understand that. Hold on, I gotta take a shit. All right, what do you think? I just think it's it's silly to even try to carry that street shit into the into the uh, legit business. Exactly. Of the world. I'm gonna use one character where this shit it really played out in a way where you cannot try to master two worlds. Stringer Bell from the Wire. He was too business for the for the streets, but he was too street for the business. Mm. And look where it mm. got him. The streets caught up with him, and he got killed within his business. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, it's okay to rap about what you've experienced, but leave the shit alone. That's why you're rapping to get yes, away from to it. To get away from it, but yeah. the, these young dudes nowadays, the problem is, back in the day, you did have drug dealers and trappers and killers that became rappers but they wanted to get away now mm -hmm. it's sort of the same thing but the biggest difference is these guys want clout off both sides yes uh, and it doesn't work that way you we both we all know it doesn't work that way that's why when these rappers get killed i don't care i don't feel <laughs> sorry you live this life so and you want to continue with well, damn so, no it's no damn it's a damn, damn no it's a damn shame when everyday hard-working black individuals are put in the same boat as a rapper. Mm -hmm. Because when good black people are killed, they look for the worst picture of them on Facebook okay. and compare them to rappers. So I know I'm I'm going, it's uh, not off topic, but I'm getting back to it. But my thing is, when you want to live that life, then even with security, it doesn't matter. You well, have to if, be prepared. When you talk about security, these rappers, they have mostly the, like their boys yeah. are their security. Or people like 6 9 they have like real tall... Uh, if, security guards, but I mean, you just gotta. If you're gonna do it the street way, then you gotta know how to handle the street way. First of all, you got legit guys. Then you got what I call the anonymous ones, the ones that will pull that trigger, but it's hard for the feds to prove that mm -hmm. shit. You gotta have that dirt dude that nobody knows about, and I'm talking about not just on paper. You don't know he exists. Yeah, he's the one that's pulling the trigger. You sit back. He ain't been in yeah. jail. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He he's, he's a, a ghost. ghost. Yeah, he doesn't ghost. know anything. Nobody really knows about this. Mm -hmm. That person. That's Brother Malzone. That's the one. That, yeah. Brother Malzone yes. from the wire. Brother Malzone, exactly. Mm. I can't, I can't, I can't mm. Same thing the shot. I keep repeating the same shit every day and you keep falling apart. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You sound that, like a... That's him. But you need that guy that can make those moves. Or you need a Weebay or Yo, someone Weebay. that can handle shit like that. So then when shit do go down, the feds got to prove it. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If you really going to be that way, then you need to be all the way. Don't half-ass it. So, yeah, if you're about that life, in my opinion, whatever comes to you, comes to you. So, mm -hmm. it's different when you're trying to get out of it. And, of course, shit will come back because, you know, street beefs in the street don't usually die mm -hmm. unless you handle it. But if you're continuing to put one foot in there, then you're not, you're not going to get no sympathy from me or, or empathy because this is what you're doing. So, yeah, for rappers out there... All rappers need security just because um, you want to make sure legally you're you're okay. You want to. The whole point of this is financial wealth is the freedom. You want to be free from a bullshit. rapper. He's like he's paranoid for some like reasons, mm -hmm. and he's want he want to have a piece on him. And no, sometimes, you don't need that shit. That's stupid. Some sometimes you're, things just set you up. No, just you set you yourself up for that because first of all, you don't need no fucking scrap strap if you got. People like you say you do, they gonna handle it before you even know what happened. Mm -hmm. They gonna tell you, hey, such and such did this, but this has been taken care of. And then all Sorry. they need to know is how you gonna pay. I get what you're saying, like you know what I'm saying. Especially if you've had traumatic experiences, yeah. you're gonna be like, nobody can protect me, like I can protect me. But on this, on the other hand, instead of running out and getting a Bentley, instead of running out and getting changed first, your security should be tight, like automatically. I don't understand it. I just don't get it. Um, no, I understand it. There are rappers being like, look how many home invasions are going on, and then there's people who aren't really even about that life. Like, okay, Chris Brown. 
Yeah. Grew up in Tappahannock, yeah, whatever, we whatever. Yeah. Love Chris Brown, think he's think he's very talented. But we all know he he went out to LA and got involved. That man is out there getting extorted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And extortion is happening to a lot of rappers mm -hmm. by real, real, real deal gangsters. Mm -hmm. So just Keep your head down. You know, roll like Rod Wave. Don't hang out with a whole bunch of people. Roll with Kevin Gates. Hang out with your family. Like just be, just be your fucking self. Yeah. You're talented. Your talent will speak for itself. That's what gets me. And a lot of people do that shit. They go to certain places and then they get involved. We, you just brung up a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown ain't never seen no blood in his fucking sight, it, it, especially ever. in the Commonwealth. You grew up in the most country's part, so why? Do yeah, you all of us from here, like you from Tappahannock. Yeah, bro. you grew up in the countryside, <laughs> right. so you know. Hell, you weren't even near go DC, mm -hmm. so you don't. You know, you only time you seen that shit is when you saw it on television. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself, and that's why I say I don't feel empathy or sorry for it because look. The, 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 you didn't feel sorry for when King Von died? It's not about... I it, feel sorry personally no, when anyone loses their life. I'm going to say this. Because you make dumb decisions. It's a damn young. shame, but I feel... But, more he, but he didn't treat it like, it's just another rap. No, no. It's one of those, you know what? That's, that's street shit, so it's going to be that way. He just I, expects yeah, it. Yeah, I feel for Trayvon Martins out there, for those people that had nothing to do with that, but they were still labeled as... Being black already, we already in the negative, so why feed to the bullshit? You mm -hmm. know... The white media controls everything on how it runs. So when you behave that way, don't be surprised when they treat you that way. But at the same time, I have a poem that's called, um, <clears throat> it's called, uh, what is it called? Thou shall. Um, it, I just, the term just, just stopped mm -hmm. me. Um, but basically you what you're, you no, know, <laughs> what you're talking about is, um, oh, it's going to come to me. But it's an illusion, what you're talking about. Well, yeah. There's no way that we can act to be treated the way you're talking about. I want to make sure you understand. Oh, no, that. I understand that completely. But my thing is don't feed to the fire where to the point, legally wise, shit can happen to you where it's like, damn, why am I being treated this way? Well, because you are allowing it. What, what you put out there is what you're going to get back. True, but there's no way that we can act that will stop a system that is put in place oh, to yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking us. about something okay. completely I just want to make sure I'm Oh, no, I'm here. with you on that, but at the same I'm time, when, but, that. When you, but when you get in the street <laughs> shit, you are at a... Yes, you're, no. You, you're in a world where it you never... You live by the story, you die by the story. Yeah, but, it, but my thing is you cannot dip it back and forth. Because a lot of people think they can just dabble in it, but if you go all the way head in, you cannot pull out. Respectability like politics. Yeah. That's the term oh, I was trying to remember. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. I'm sorry. No, I agree, but that's why I brought up Stringer. Because mm -hmm. what did Stringer try to do from the wire? He tried to master both worlds. And when things didn't go his way in the legit world, he wanted to be street, but that's not going to work. Remember, he wanted the senator killed. And what did mm -hmm. Slim, uh, Slim Charles say? That's assassination mm -hmm. shit. You can't do that. <laughs> oh, because you mad because you got played. <laughs> Avon said they saw your ghetto ass. Ghetto we ass. We need to have. First of all, y'all don't. I don't know if I told you, but The Wire is my favorite show of all time. Oh, The Wire is the greatest. I show. watch it once a year. It's the greatest. We need show to have a podcast time. where we go through The Wire. Yeah. But that's my this point. This is like getting me so but excited I that he people, knows this. I tell people this. Avon was smarter than what you think. You see, he said they saw your ghetto ass. Mm -hmm. The power, those white people mm. that you thought that you were, because you went to this little community college taking these classes, <laughs> you ain't shit. The lawyer even told him, like, like, the lawyer gave him the look like, why didn't you come to me first? <laughs> he said you went to your damn community. Look, he was trying to better himself, okay? And that is fine, but at the same time, you can't jump in, you can't jump into a world and think you're going to master to motherfuckers that, uh, that's been there way before. Did you say little community college? Yeah, yeah little, little community, community college. Because he thought he knew I got more. 69 credits, fam. He, oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even probably finish yet. <laughs> He asking the teacher all these questions and trying to apply that shit to the niggas in the street. It's like, dog, you're not there yet. Okay. So it goes for these rappers. These rappers are not there, especially the young ones. Yeah, the young that ones. clout is going to fuck you up. Okay, speaking of which, we can segue into this. What's up, um, Raheem? Also, what's up, everybody watching on Baltimore's Be More's <laughs> live? Yeah, you can Ish follow Talk. Ish Talk TV. You can um, follow the Dope Academy on all of our social media platforms, including YouTube. But we go live every Sunday at 8 p.m. on Facebook, and then yeah. it's uploaded to all streaming platforms two days later. Gotcha. So, and Ish Talk, just for y'all, Ish Talk is uh, live every Thursday. 
uh, 9.30 p.m. UTC. It's really good stuff, y'all. And, we got, we, got, and, we, got, and uh, we got fashion and clothing. Uh, you need to try his ish brownies for all the people out there who like to fly high and fly yeah. right. And you go to Canvas Festival? Y'all going to Canvas Festival? I already got tickets. Yo, oh, okay. Definitely, yeah, definitely. <laughs> y'all got to come. You're definitely going to come. Uh, and you made a, a, nice, a hell of a cup of joe. Speaking of a, the cup of joe we have, make sure y'all go support Uncle Ernest. It's a black-owned whiskey company. I'm not saying it's in the cup, but we do like that one. And I I'm sweating. Like it. I do like it. I am not Trinidad James. I did not pop a Molly in sweat. <laughs> it's just hot today, and the doors were open, and I'm waiting for the air to come down, and I'm getting old. I'm I not you, menopause at all, but... I thought, I thought you I thought you had two uh, chocolate beige uh, hot men next to you. That's why you're sweating. That's why, <laughs> oh, that's what it is. That? That's what it is. Oh, my, I feel beige. the heat coming off yeah. the melanin yeah. over yeah. here. Oh, my gosh. Much, much stronger over here, though, much, on this side. I need much as but, much as I can. But one thing that I need to do is... Open this the girl you thought, test. The girl you thought... <laughs> You, the girl you thought was just left in Miami uh -oh. has sent us something. Uh oh. DJ EK has given me this package, and apparently the paternity test results are in. Dun -dun. Well, I ain't got nothing. No, I'm just joking. So, anyways, about clout. Did y'all hear that Takashi69 is coming to the Prince William County Fair? <laughs> no joke. Saw a video with him saying, I'll be in Manassas. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. You saw it. I saw it with my god. own eyes. Oh, god. Wow. One day he's going to be in North Carolina. It makes and sense because I do see a lot of 6'9s in Manassas on Selby Road. Fuck yeah. Oh my lord. Oh yeah. All, all the time. Near that uh, Manassas Mall, near the Manassas. Walmart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see them all the time too. Yeah, so shit. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm not, yeah. I, look, I won't be there. I won't be there. But that's, that's a prime example of clout going crazy. So, we're going to go ahead and go to our next topic. Let's see. The next one is... It's like a roll of the dice. Bingo! <laughs> now no serving window B76. Oh, this one. Bill Cosby is a free man. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, so, I know a lot of people have a lot of thoughts about this. Before I go forward... All thoughts expressed here are individual thoughts and not necessarily the thought of the Dope Academy podcast unless it comes from me. And if it comes from me, I said what I said. All right. Oof. So, before I give my thoughts on nice. Bill Cosby, how do y'all feel about him being freed? Do you think it's good that he was freed, like it was a miscarriage of justice, or do you think it's a travesty that he was freed? From what I've read by the extensions of the law and what happened, he has every right to be free due to the fact of it's called due process, people. When you have been unconstitutionally wronged, you deserve to be free. I don't give a shit, you know, especially with the situation with him. I mean, it's one of those things where it's a gray area for me just because it's really more of a he say, she said, and we'll never know the truth. But I'm just going to say this. I want this same energy for Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Go ahead. Princess Amunda. <sighs> yeah, I agree, man. Um, it gets to a point where you can't have public opinion affecting, like, justice. Like, <clears throat> real uh -huh. justice. You can't just go off what someone, like, uh, social media movement is. Uh, you can't put that into, like, a judge, a judge decision. Like, this man shouldn't have, like... Of, he's part of his time. There's many, just like you said, there's plenty of people that's already done that. And I'm going to put my uh, tenfold kufi on <laughs> tenfold and say kufi. I'm going to watch his in his uh, documentary, I mean his uh, interview. I'm not sure who's going to interview him, but interview I'm definitely going to watch it. All right. Uh-oh. Hold on. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Speaking. The, yes. Spoken into existence. No, you did yes. not. Yes. Yes. Spoken into existence. I'm here for this. Yes. Bill Cosby was going to buy NBC. Viacom. He was going to buy Viacom. They said, he was hell nah. BT. He was going to gonna make a positive black influence. Oh and they said, he said, hell to the nah. I they, cannot. I the cannot. powers that be say, hell nah. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. You was with him in 1964? He did what? The fact oh, okay. that my engineer Get has a tinfoil hat just shows Perfect. you how crazy it is sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I hear what you guys are saying, and I'm going to give my opinion. So as far as the law goes, yes, he should have never been locked up in the first place, according to the letter of the law and what happened. 
Um, I do think that he was railroaded because it's very easy to use a scapegoat when something's going on and he was the perfect scapegoat at the time. And it really made it a lot of, um, <clears throat> look, Eddie said started being a big issue when Bill Cosby started talking about buying NBC. <laughs> Blackie ain't going to leave that alone. <laughs> We're not going to leave it alone. There go. Um, but there are three cases that I know um, very, very well. I know the Michael Jackson case because I grew up loving Michael Jackson's music. I know it very well. I know the R. Kelly case because I'm a music lover and I was a huge R. Kelly fan. And I know Bill Cosby's case because he was like a dad to me, like for real. Like I didn't have my dad around and I used to watch the Cosby show in a different world. And it was so when all this came out, I was like, what? Nah. But I wanted to find out. Well, if you know me, you know I haven't listened to R. Kelly in over 20 years. So I don't go by what everybody else is saying. When I find out something, it's that. What I found with the Bill Cosby case is there's a lot of gray area. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. I do think that he was, quote unquote, a, na a nasty man. But I think every man in Hollywood was a nasty man. That was the vein of what was going on. There's a reason it's called a casting couch. Mm -hmm. And I believe that some of these women, from what I have read and seen, knew what they were doing and wanted to get a role. And then some of them got bitter later. Some of the other ones, I don't know for sure. What I do know for sure is you're not going to convince me that in 1960, when Bill Cosby is the, is the first black man in a lead role on a television show, that he's going to force you to have oral sex with him and the incredible hawk is your husband and you're afraid to say something. Mm. I'm so sorry. Boop, boop, boop. It's very hard for me to believe that. Boop, boop, boop. It's just extremely hard because if anybody was in the... This is, this is around the time of Eminem Till. You mean to tell me as a white woman who's married to the Incredible Hulk that you are afraid to say that Bill Cosby forced you to do something? I'm sorry. Don't believe it. Janice Dickinson has, re has um, retracted what she said. Beverly Johnson is listed as one of the accusers, and he didn't even sleep with her, and she says that. Like, a lot of those, it's, it's optics. So you see a whole, all these women, but if you research the cases, some of them didn't do anything. So it's, like, very right. weird. But I'm not taking care, I'm not taking up for the nasty behavior because... That is a problem. Men shouldn't be using their power to um, offer people jobs or whatever. But at the end of the day, as women, mm -hmm. we have to also take responsibility because I feel like if we keep saying we don't have a choice in anything, then that makes us weak. Mm. We have to take responsibility and be strong. Okay, Bill Cosby sh shouldn't have been put in jail. And I think one of the reasons why everybody was okay with it is because they heard outlines of the death position. Well, I read it. He never said <laughs> that he gave women drugs to rape them. He didn't say that. If you read it, it's really up to how you interpret it, but I didn't try to force a, a reasoning behind it. I read it for what it was. What I got from it was they asked him, did you provide these people with drugs? And he was like, yeah, well, you know what? Right now, somebody could invite you to a party this weekend. They might be like, all right, well, over there, you know what I'm saying? We got a little, you got a little... A little that's, ibuprofen. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> it's the same. Back in the day, it was Quaaludes. Back in the day, it was Cocaina. Eight Back balls. in the day, it was <laughs> eight balls. That was like 80s. That was 80s, but still, he yeah. probably was doing that shit then, too. <laughs> but now, you know, people, people still do Coke. They have Molly. They have... I'm not condoning any of this, but that is really the reality, and I'm dealing with reality. So, I think the Bill Cosby thing... If if he deserves to be put in jail, put him in there correctly. Mm -hmm. Don't trick don't trick him. Don't do something different, and then keep somebody who's blind in prison for three years just because the public opinion said something. Right, and the grayest area that got me was like you you just said it, and I told you earlier. Mm -hmm. He they took drugs with not yes. not oh I <clears throat> I tricked her. No, we were doing this. Now here's where the gray area lies: is whether it was consensual afterwards. Because that is a very stick, sticky situation because there's a thing out there where I tell people it's called buyer's remorse. You did something that you thought was cool at the time, but you feel bad afterwards. That does not mean rape. That just means you just made a bad judgment. So this is the thing, though. Oh, Eddie, I know that Bill's Ranch is an oil area of interest. They have been hounding him for years to sell. Yes. I heard about that, Yeah, too. yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's connected, but it is true. 
This is the thing though, with the alcohol thing, because now I understand this generation, when we talk like this, they get so offended. Like, mm -hmm. how dare you say that? Right. You know, once a, once a woman has a drink, there's no more consent. Once a da 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 da. Where do we get to the point where, well, then you have to be responsible for that drink you took. You have to be responsible for the drugs you took. You have to be responsible for all that. Accountability. Not saying that people should be able to just take advantage of you. But if me and you tonight drink a whole bunch of alcohol and get in a car and we kill somebody, we are still held accountable for the, the damage that we did after or the decision we made after. Right. So we have to come to a, a, a place in this society where we make everyone take responsibility. Mm -hmm. As a woman, I don't, I don't want to make women upset, but I feel like we're getting to a point where women are not wanting to take responsibility for anything. And we, we're just these helpless beings. Right, which is the... And, which is, and, and I find it ironic because in this era, now every woman is independent <clears throat> and powerful. Mm -hmm. But you mean to tell me... That's the me opposite of that. You were independent and powerful enough not to take this drug or not to take this alcohol because you were in the presence of someone else. So a lot of things that I tell women is, yeah, oh, I deserve to be treated with such a respect. You really mean really tell... You're telling me you're willing to, <clears throat> to put somewhat your views in the hands of another individual? How do you know this person does does uh, share the same? Mm -hmm. Right. My night. thing is, put you got to be smart about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. This is not a perfect world. As black men, we should be able to be freely to be expressive with the cops if we don't like what they're doing. But we but we, we know we that's know, not how it is. We know not how it is. What? So I say on both ends, men and women, you should already know that just because you think one way doesn't mean the reality of the world is going to receive that. So why do that to yourself? Where that differs, though, I want to be clear, and I'm pretty sure they agree with me, underage. If you're, oh, absolutely. If the, oh, underage, absolutely. Yeah. nobody should be doing anything and know your oh, brain yeah, no, hasn't no, even no. formed to make those decisions. No, we're talking, about, we're talking about adults. Adult people yes. who are put in situations. If you know you're going to a private room with a man that's married, first of all, you've already fucked up right then and there. Mm -hmm. we, you, if that, first of all, you would help yourself if he invited you and you said no. Mm -hmm. That's when you go, hey. That's a game. It. But if you went up there, you knew what you were getting into. You knew what you signed up for. Whatever happens after that, you've put yourself in an uncomfortable, uncompromised situation. That would be like me if I know I got homies and they about to start some shit. And they be like, yo, we about to go do such and such. <laughs> You won't roll with us. If I do that, that's on happens, you. That is on me. That's I can't, a great example. I can't say, oh, no, no, no. You know, they, they, I had no knowledge of this. And yeah, you might not have knowledge, but the simple fact that you are with them, you put yourself in that position. Or you knew they were going to rob the liquor store, yeah. but you didn't well, know they was going to kill somebody. Right. Well, so now you want the cops to let you go. Right. It even, don't happen that even way. Even if you didn't have no knowledge, if you know <clears> that they're on a destructive path and, and you, you still are taken and you still go there, you've put yourself in an uncompromised position. I'm not <clears> doing that shit. Fam, I thought he was going to die in there. I, was I did surprised. too. I'm not happy he's out. I mean, yeah, I'm not happy, but I'm surprised he's out. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... When I saw him, remember when, when he was going to trial and he did that whole look behind? <laughs> I was like... That was one of the funniest things ever. But when he did that, I said, oh, man, he ain't coming home. Like, he I, ain't coming home. I, I thought, he, he, off, I thought he reached the senile stage then. He went... <laughs> he should... And then he... The simple fact that he did it twice, it got me. <laughs> I thought the first time maybe he had like something on his neck or his upper ass was kicking in. He gonna have a cicada. But he went, my man said. I thought he had a cicada on him. My man said, whoo. He went, and, and the simple fact that he had the Bill Cosby season five intro face. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm like, I'm like, there's only two black men over six that I've seen do that shit with style: Bill Cosby and James Brown. When them two did interviews, they gave no fucks. I, I'm with James that shit. Brown interviews are some of my favorite things to watch. Especially you can't really running. understand what the hell they James Brown's saying. They never did that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking to my stupid? Hey, hey, oh god. I need Ooh. that though. I need Ooh. it. I need that. Those, oh my God. They were original. <laughs> and like you said, they came from a time where it was cool to be. Jane Brown way. looking like a Thundercat. <laughs> now, Jane Brown be looking like some hood niggas' grandmas. Let's be yes, real. Yes. Especially when they sweat. He looked yeah. like an extra on I'm about it. Zipper, 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 zipper. Hey! I remember okay. the MC Hammer shit when he had the fire coming out of his head. He said, Woo! <laughs> 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 Hey, look, that's still the godfather of soul. So he's yeah. still the goat of yeah. that. So we got, look, look, all I'm saying is 
<sighs> people out there, men and women, I can't don't put yourself together. in uncompromising <laughs> situations. Look at the re. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna lie. I look like do that it sometimes. Do it again. Do it I'm not gonna lie. I've had a chick where she threw it back on me and I look like that. I was like, man. I was like please, please, no, don't. First of all, why do I feel like I'm sweating? Like James Brown. The more I drink, the but look, my my man's hair is still in one piece. That's dope shit. Look, hey, I'm just saying, like, you look, that big red thing. shit went out of style with a uh, gut punch, uh, fucking bird. Yeah. Now my office hours are. <laughs> look, everybody knows the office. Look, first of all, the best part is when he gut punches and grabbed him by the face yes. and threw his ass to the ground. First of all, if a nigga can gut punch you and throw you by the face, yeah. you ain't about yeah. that life. That's how 90 yeah. percent of these rappers today are. Yeah. That nigga said, "Look, one of, the, just... one of the best jokes when he said was, how you keep an asshole in suspense.'" <laughs> Oh, you can talk now. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> but okay. I, I lost it when that nigga gutted him. He said, ah! All right, all right. All right. The face. So, that's, that's G shit. So, so, in closing, if Bill Cosby is guilty, please, please, please do it the correct way because that's what the justice system should be about. Mm -hmm. I'm not same. saying he's not guilty because if I said that, that's the same as saying, like, George Zimmerman isn't guilty. Because mm -hmm. sometimes people do get away mm -hmm. with stuff. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the evidence that they've presented and what I've researched, it's not as clear as people make it seem. Keep that same energy for, for fucking Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. I have yet to hear a document come about surviving Weinstein. And I know a lot of Hollywood people out there have been through the shit. They ain't going to say nothing. But for the regular people out there, keep that same fucking energy. Okay. Because they try, they tried the to come for him. The women, no, 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 the, the no. Women in yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they, they are nah. definitely but here's, what, him. here's what blows me about it: nah. when a white man of power does something, it only affects. He only gets recognition when he affected the wrong, like the typical wrong group, innocent, yeah. innocent white person. Mm -hmm. When it's someone that's every day that we can relate to, that's when it, it comes to light. Black people go through shit for years, and it comes, and then when they do come forward, then they're discredited. So yeah. I don't like that shit. That's why I said. Where's this same torch for Harvey Weinstein? I think the difference is Harvey Weinstein has a lot of clout and pull oh, in Hollywood. Well, I think, in my opinion... In Hollywood, mm -hmm. halfway controls the media. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So he had... Well, pay the cost to be the boss. You understand what I'm saying? So he had mm -hmm. it, even though the, the the like Alyssa Milano was coming for his fucking neck. The girl from Who's the Boss does yeah, not like yeah. him at all. I don't know what he did to her, but... No, they, no, no, no. It, it was Rose McGowan. No, but Rose she was too. Rose yeah, no. Alyssa Milano, Milano was coming on that shit too. too. Yeah, but Rose, was, but Rose, Rose McGowan was going crazy too. But yeah. they don't have, I guess, enough. They don't have enough. They don't have enough. Has. But the thing is, I think he got certain other people in the industry about the I boss. I think so too. In his mind, I think this is how it happens. Bosses like that's like, look, you're gonna take this L. Mm -hmm. And he's like, all right, I'm gonna take an L for certain things. But if other shit gets out, other people going down. Yeah. And if he don't play by the rules. The Harvey Weinstein hangs himself just like everybody else, yeah. like Epstein and like shit. Epstein. I feel like, Which all, didn't like happen. you are right. It's like, yeah, I feel like the media said, well, we got him. He knows what he's doing. But it's like, but where's the same ridicule that this black man, Bill Cosby, you know, has been going through? So, for how me, come, yeah, how yeah, come I just need no, the same energy. Need the same no energy CNN. across the board. Uh, CNN, they gave they gave uh, Bill Cosby like the OJ treatment. They oh had, yeah, they and, did. Like, they when, did. When he left the jail and, that shit and all was that crazy. stuff, that was unnecessary. You know, on the highway. That's so unnecessary. First so, of all, you violating that man's privacy. What if somebody went over there and like tried to shoot him because they did that? It's like we're doing the most. Like this man is in his eighties. He's it's stop funny how the it. media would change it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Like just let this man let it go. Let it. I'm not saying let it all the way go. If you were, if the people were legitimately victimized, that's another entirely different route. But as I just said, for me, keep the same energy for Harvey. Mm. So let me know what y'all think about the Bill Cosby verdict. I know that it's a very, um, I mean, the Bill Cosby release. It's a very polarizing subject. Yeah. Um, we're not trying to offend anybody, but these are our personal opinions, and we say what we said. What? Next slide, please. <clears throat> All right, Shout out to be? EK on the boards. Right. EK's on the boards. DJ EK on the he boards. He improvising too. I like that I shit. I love that. Oh, I said, hold on now. <laughs> Put that James Brown shit there. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Huh, that's the that's DMV weather. <laughs> hey, what's the zip zip in this? Hot. Hey. 
Look, if a woman can make me sound like that, I'm marrying her. You should. I will. I'm proposing. I propose, but... What are you going to say, hey, hey, like that? You don't want to. If you don't say, hey, like that, she going to run off. She going to run out the bedroom. Don't there do that. Goes. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Nick Cannon on the seahorse. <laughs> Good God. All right, so if you've been living under a rock, Nick Cannon is spreading his seed everywhere. Like the old uh, black people in my family used to say, he likes to lay it low and spread it wide. Mm. Okay? Mm. Nick Cannon is out here impregnating everybody. Okay. He said he called himself a seahorse. Everybody keeps laughing at this, but he said he's like a seahorse spreading his seed. All these kids are on purpose. Um, I think he's up to what seven now? Six, I think so. seven. Something like that. He's been having twins, you know, what I mean? <laughs> whatever. He's had, I think, three women pregnant within the last year. Um, and this is a stark contrast. He had the twins by Mariah, and there was a gap for a while. Mm-hmm. And now he's just, you know, I'm saying to the windows to the walls. So. I want to know how you feel about it overall. Do you think just because he has money, that's a responsible thing, that's okay? And also, why do you think this is happening? I'm going to go last because I, I have a feeling of why I think it's happening, why he's doing this. But go. Hey, I don't know, honestly, but I really don't care because... Talk up. I, I don't know, and I honestly don't care. Live your life, I mean, because... These women are not being forced to have his children, so they're oh, voluntarily yeah. agreeing to this. So we don't know the dynamics of the relationships. Maybe that's how they wanted this go- going. So I don't know what it's like between them. So and it's none of my business. So hey, if you have if you're having these children, and he has peace between them, the mom and the children. Do you? Okay. It's uh, you know, there is more women than men out here. You know, if we was living some side of some sort of like nomadic life that would be fine to just to shoot your <coughs> your sperm everywhere but uh-huh. it's 2021 we already know about how a family uh uni a uh, unit is supposed to be uh two parent households uh-huh. and you expect this child to grow up and his and his father is some sort of uh, rich dude just because he just want he was just he was just had he just on friday he just wanted to sh- uh have some babies Mm-hmm. You can't, you know, and you can't lift, you know, you can't do that, especially to the kid. You want to grow up, and he especially he's talking about he's pro black and he wants to uh, do all the other shit. And uh, you know, it's money. When you talk about the money part, that's cool, but those people going, those kids gonna grow up screwed up. <laughs> we don't know that yet. We we really don't. And once again, that kid gonna grow up in a big big ass man. I hear shit. that, but I'm not looking at Nick Cannon as the black father figure to look up to either. Yeah, and if y'all want to say he's sick, that's he's dying or something like that. You know what? What, what, is, what do you got? Polio? I'm gonna get into it. He got polio. No, no it wasn't polio. polio. He got scoliosis. No, no, and he got something, and you know that's still what you want to do. Don't say polio, dog. Nobody it's had not polio, polio since the fucking twenties, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ain't nobody been feeling polio since then, dog. You. Okay. So I like on. both of your opinions on it for sure. I, part of me is like, you know what? Live your life. There's too much stuff going on in the world for me to worry about exactly. how many people Nick Cannon and the rest of the rich people are getting pregnant. Exactly. And on the other hand, I'm like, money is great to take care of children, but children need time. And how is he going to be able to spread himself around to do that? Okay, right. cool. So, <clears throat> I do believe that Nick Cannon is polyamorous. He's definitely talked about that before, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he's getting in touch with his spiritual side. He re- definitely, definitely... Um, resonates with um the more lineage that's why he wears you know his turban and all that good stuff cool he is studying ancient kemet i can see it in his in his speech his talks whatever so i think he's trying to present that that's what this is about like more so like oh i'm i'm you know i'm polyamorous and you know the black man needs to spread his seed and all this other stuff. You know, the, the stuff that men tell you when they want you to have sex with them raw. That type of stuff, right? Men are spreading their seeds. <laughs> I hear you. Really. But, <clears throat> as many of you guys know, I have lupus, and Nick Cannon has lupus mm-hmm. nephritis. So he has lupus that affects his kidneys, and it's very, very serious. So, um, 
my lupus is SLE, like Selena Gomez and Tony Braxton, where it affects all of our different organs. His focuses on his kidneys, and the one way that people die a lot from lupus is um, when the kidneys start failing. And people have to get, like, Selena Gomez's friend gave her a kidney. Like, it happens a lot, right? Your heart or your kidney. Just from my personal experience, I think I know what's happening. Just like I knew about Cardi B being pregnant. All right. When you are diagnosed with something that you have no control over, even if you're, like, doing really well with it and you're, you know, you're, the first couple of years is hard. You're in and out of the hospital like how Nick Cannon has been. Um, but then you get a hold of it. But, it, but no matter what. Everyone I know that has gone through this, when you're diagnosed with it, you tend to have an area of your life that you do a lot of impulsive, irresponsible behavior. A lot. And they, it's, it's psych psychological. When you can't control an area and you get scared, like, oh, I might die or I might get sick, sub subconsciously you want to control something else. So, so you'll see a person who just got diagnosed with cancer and they'll start smoking. Mm -hmm. you, it's it's very common. Mm -hmm. I really believe because the last year he had some serious medical issues, which is why he had to um, stop hosting the Mass Singer and stuff like that. I think he got really sick, and I think subconsciously this is Nick Cannon's way of. I think he thinks he's dying. He probably isn't, but he. I think it shook him up, and now he's trying to give, have a whole bunch of babies. I really believe that because the way that it happened, like this, all of a sudden, you literally. Is he married to any of these women? No. No. And he said he don't want to be married. So he got seven kids or he's going to be overall? I think his overall is going to be seven. I really think it's because I think he needs to go see a therapist. Like, I think he's you, dealing with some, some stuff. What do you it's want? Hard. Like well, he, at least one of those kids is going to be good. The rest of them are going to be strung out. No. Um, Morocco and Maryland, they're going to be straight. They're going to be straight. They're straight. They're good to go. Okay. Their so mom. we got five of them. Hopefully the one other of them ones, is a lawyer. They're like all IG models, right? The other girls? Probably. Some shit like that. Yeah. <clears throat> but I really, I mean, I, I like Nick Cannon. I like him as a person. I really I really think. He's he a just corny go, guy. He was corny in Nickelodeon. He's corny now. That was a corny move. Why, why everybody why call him corny? Yeah. And Nick Cannon is one of the, dope, the dopest yeah. snipers in Hollywood. He has slept with the most beautiful women he used ever. His, he, he used his little nerd style. <laughs> No, Just man. Love don't cost a thing. Love don't cost a thing. <laughs> hey, look, but the thing I'm is... I'm going to do my thug it, dizzle, he's yeah. Still, he's still collecting the bag. And, and he's very smart business. Right, man. He's, he's collecting that fucking bag. I just It's selfish. I don't like... It is me, selfish. When it comes to corny... It's like that celebrity shit. No, certain people, though, it's like, why is it corny? Getting a bag is not corny. And just because he doesn't have... like. When certain niggas do that hood shit sometimes, that gets corny. And you fun. can tell it's... Right, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I get... Super annoying. I don't call do Nick Cannon corny because I think we need right. more people like Nick it's Cannon. Niggas who Not the to, sex part, but right. the, it's niggas who try to do the most just uh, to be anything, hard, just to be what? No, it, just whatever. That's when I go. Okay, well, you already know he tried to go too hard with having um, what's the name uh, interview um, the dude from Public Enemy, and he got oh Professor Griff, Professor Griff, mm -hmm. and he tried to be too black on that. Mm -hmm. So he's or, living both life, right? And he's living. He's like you know, he, or he could have just had a human moment. We all have a human moment where we just get tired of the bullshit and we say what's on our minds. Everybody didn't have. No, he had been studying the teachings, right? He had been, and he started talking about right, uh, Professor Yusuf and the Caucasus Mountains, and he said some stuff a little too much, and then he started talking about the Jewish people, right? And Nick Cannon should have known better than that, though. right? You don't talk about certain groups, and he should have known better. Well, than it's that. one of the. I'll say this: if you know the consequences and you are willing to accept it, then go all out. But if you want to maintain something then don't do it because there's just certain things where i know hey i have an opinion about it but i won't say anything mm -hmm. and just because i know the game i know the reality of what's gonna but happen. he was living this life where he was gonna be this what you say whatever he's believing in More. and he's so caught up in his life when he wants to just shoot out babies he wants to uh have both lifestyles saying uh black men are or well, Jews are the blah blah blah, well, blah and yeah. you can't. You can't My thing Nick is, Cannon with that situation though, I felt like to me he looked like somebody who had just heard that mm -hmm. and was spewing it back, but mm -hmm. he didn't know it good enough to defend it. Yeah, he didn't know a good a good enough to say, you know what? Well, this is why I believe this, this, and that, and this. He had heard somebody say that and he was repeating it. That's I, where I, I, I think he wrong. believes. I think he believes it, but he didn't. So when yeah. you can explain I, something very yeah, thoroughly, you know it. Friends, but you but know. but yeah. believing and understanding is two different things. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. you have to. It's like a lot it, of people just repeat shit. Right. It's like 
if I'm a if I'm a like a football player and I know a certain offense and I start spewing shit but I don't understand how it truly works and I try to implement it in my team with the, the, another team and that shit falls apart. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the schemes and what it takes for someone to operate it, it's fucked up. What's like, up, Travis? Yeah, if you're gonna run a spread offense, that means your your team has to be fast. So you can't run that so shit. So Nick with a Cannon got a spread run. offense. You want to spread his <laughs> sperm out, and he's gonna come back. At the end of the day, he's, when he's he's got to be able to be on his feet and be quick. Two of those kids, two of those kids, gonna show up at his funeral. Well, look, at the end of the day, if he has a strong relationship, that's all that matters. I hear what you're saying. But yeah. how can he have a strong relationship with that many children? He's already very busy because he is. He's in Howard. He's doing a podcast. He is the executive producer of The Masked Singer. That was a boss move when he right, got fired right. from uh, when he had to leave America's Got Talent. I will say that. He brought that show here. He does, like, he does so much. I don't even understand how he'll be able to well, be we in don't know what, what's going to what he I was screwed up when I, had, when I didn't have my dad. Exactly. Me too. We don't know what's going to happen, though, with you. We're talking come. about the little kid inside us. Right, but we don't know what's going to happen. One of those kids going to kill him. <laughs> don't come back. <laughs> oh, you trying to say he's gonna have a David right, moment? Time. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be Morocco. Yeah, it's gonna be Mariah's boy. That's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Look, all right, look, whatever. Nick, man, just in the meantime, man, just wrap so up. So you shit. guys wrap watching up. live up, or Nick. on YouTube later wrap or up. listening on Spotify, Apple. Just, you know, in the comments, let us know what you think. Do you think it's okay to just spread your seed everywhere as long as you have the money? Or do you think you have a personal responsibility to weigh out, hey, will I really be able to be there for these children? Or Yes. Remember that? Oh, did y'all ever watch? You probably didn't, but every woman knows this. Ayanla Van Zant had an episode. Well, she had a whole couple of episodes. There's this okay. dude. He had like 17 kids. He couldn't stop. He was broke, too. He couldn't stop. He had seven, and she made him carry these doll babies to show he couldn't carry them. There are people out here who do that sometimes, and it's a sickness. Because yeah. they want, like, love, and they just keep... Right. So, I think that Nick is going through something. I really do. I think he's going through um, medical issues, and he is subconsciously being out of control in an area. And, unfortunately, his out-of-control area... He could have picked alcohol. Fucking. He could have picked no. bungee jumping. <laughs> yeah. He wants he, to have he kids. Picked fucking. An addiction is Wrong. all over. Yeah, you can have an addiction in anything. Yeah. Eating, okay. fucking, drinking, mm -hmm. smoking, street shit, whatever. All right. Addiction is an illness. And everything, even love. Mm, that's mm. true. That's true. All right, DJ EK, next one. Meow, 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 meow. All right, let's get into it. Are we really tired of plastic bodies or no? Nah? The reason why I'm asking this is because Boosie, aka Boosie Badass, had went on social media a couple weeks ago and was saying, uh, Y'all need to encourage these women. Stop making them think that they want that we just want plastic bodies. It's, it's getting to be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Other people were saying that. Oh, we're just tired of it. Mm -hmm. So as a woman who's not plastic, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I have nothing against plastic surgery as long as it looks good. Like I don't like the ant butts, but other than that, I don't care. <laughs> but the ant butts, you know what I'm talking about. When the legs don't match and shit. That's that's not good. Mm -hmm. But. As a person who doesn't have it, I hear people saying that, but that's not really the, the energy that's being given off because their videos don't show that. Their videos have plastic women in them. When they show up to an awards show, they have a girl on their arm who's, who's obviously had plastic surgery. All the people they prop out in the front in Hollywood have plastic surgery. It's not like in the 90s, like you were talking about earlier. It's not like Aaliyah. It's not like the Lauryn Hills. It's, it's not, that's, not, that's just not what's popping right now. What's popping is BBLs, breast lift, faces, um, which I purposely put pictures of K. Michelle at the top because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge K. Michelle fan, right? Oh, but shit. she looks like a whole different person. <laughs> when I saw her, I said, I said, I know you lying. I know you fucking lying. That is not K. Michelle. Oh, shit. She looks like somebody totally different. She looks like a brown-skinned Doja Cat. Look at mm. her. Mm. Don't she? Mm. <laughs> so it's not even it's not even just the butts and the bodies anymore. It's the face. It's everything. <laughs> and I feel like I'm living in the matrix a little bit. Like I have nothing against people wanting to like you know do whatever they want to do to their body. That's on them. But when it looks so fake, it just I don't know. It just <laughs> don't do nothing for me. And we have people whose faces are different. We have um, 
Hazel E. She almost died on the table getting a mom <coughs> makeover. Mm -hmm. One of my friends, um, yeah. one of my friends who I grew up with, she's on the WE, the WE TV show Beyond the Pole. She was a stripper for many years at Magic City. Um, shout out to Angel Cakes, and she's very um, well known in Atlanta. Catch, check her check her out on Beyond the Pole on WE TV. Make sure y'all catch that. But anyways, if you watch the first season, she talks about how when she was stripping in DC, she was too natural so she wasn't making any money so she had to go get a, bu a butt job and it was ridiculous and it was too big and all this other stuff so she kept going to doctors and you see it on the show and the doctors are like we can't take it out because it will kill you mm. she ended up going to dominican republic to get it fixed or whatever whatever but it's just i don't know if it's worth it and i don't know if men tell tell women who are natural oh no it's, it's better for you to be natural but then on the other hand it's like those are the women that are praised so are we really tired of plastic bodies or is it just fun to see a beautiful sculpted body and and it doesn't go past that because to me it's starting to like everybody looks the same i'm gonna be last on this one so, y'all go ahead do y'all think bro. no last because it's gonna take some time he want to go. go to strip club right now <laughs> no no go ahead go ahead go, there's no go. problem with go the ahead. bubble butts go ahead eddie go said ahead. plastic is whack go ahead go ahead yeah but eddie i know you were like Bruh. no go ahead Stadium. go ahead go ahead i got no problem with a uh fake fake butt i've mm -hmm. i've actually felt it and you know i was in a basement somewhere i can't say where i was but it had some strippers and I felt it, and I, I knew it was fake, but it was cool though. But um, I got no problem with it because there's people want, out there that want to express themselves, and they might feel like they might want to look a certain way. And the only way of expressing expressing themselves is to have surgery. And one thing I will never forget, I saw on social media, it was a, this flight, and it had all these girls with BBL surgeries, a line full of women, and sitting in a, a wheelchair. Uh, and it's waiting in front of a like in the airport, yeah, come, mm. come, coming from, the, the, coming from Miami, coming from whatever. Yeah, go yeah. To, the, to the Dominican. Republic. And it's a, it's a shame, but it's also I see um, there's other people. It could be men out there. He wants to have uh, this dude wanted to have transracial surgery. He wanted to look like a Japanese man. Didn't somebody just do that or something? Yeah. So yeah. people are in their mind. America's. I'm not gonna say they're confused. Mm -hmm. But some in in their mind of what they're supposed to, something's not right. <laughs> something or something in the water ain't right. The, the milk's water. gone bad. I get those titties two thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I just think um, sometimes it's good and it looks good, and a lot of times it doesn't. So if you're going to do it, please, please, please research. Please, like. Miss Mulatto just got plastic surgery, obviously. Hers mm -hmm. looks actually looks good. So I'm not even like, okay, her thighs still look a little thick, you know what I'm saying? Um, whereas though, if we thought about like a T.I. Tiny. I, what I'm thinking that happened to Tiny is she got the early stages. She, <laughs> she need to, you know what I'm saying? She need to upgrade. Like my friend had to go back. She, to she had the B.C. surgery. Yeah. She had the Mickey Rourke syndrome. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, make your work so I think she got the early joints, but like sometimes it's like too much. And if you want to get a little nip and tuck, cool. But once you start really just changing who you are, like fully, that kind of is weird to me. Like Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner having these babies, and they they both look like predators before they <laughs> before she got the surgery. So I worry how they gonna look when they get older. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How much was this, your friend's surgery? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I, have a, I have a lot of friends that's with Johnny BBL. The, the, so there, it, there are women out there spending like seven thousand yeah, dollars on a thousands. surgery, but thousands. meanwhile they're living on a, a a loaf of bread as a mattress. Yeah. In somewhere, it's a shame. Yeah. Go ahead, AJ. Sorry. I just think that's, this shit is the dumbest shit for so many fucking reasons. First of all, <laughs> you sound so bothered. It, it, it's 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 fucking stupid because you want. The the thing that I have, and I'm going to break this down into three sections. The mm. first one is, it's just deception. You want me to be real. You say how you want men to be real. You want this and that. Mm. But your whole fucking frame ain't real. Mm. Your only thing real in you is your DNA and your chromosomes. But y'all flying out them friends. No, no, no. No, we're not. First of all. Yes, y'all no, are. I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> no, the problem is, every woman wants to be the same. Stop being the same. This is the difference between men and women. Men say, yo, I need to be on that level or let me see I want to be like that but I want to be so, like yo 
put me on to this so I can be the best of my abilities. The problem with a lot of women is I want to be her. I want to be exactly the replica because I want because y'all a lot of not y'all, I'm sorry. There are a lot of women. Oh, I know who, what I mean. There are a lot of women. <laughs> Go ahead. Who, the problem is women don't know how to separate fuck bitch ass niggas to real men. Okay. Fuck bitch ass niggas are gonna want a perception because first of all, they live in a fantasy world. And they oh. and, and so you are falling for that bullshit. So you're going by with a bitch ass nigga. With, the, with, with some money out here is going by, so you want to look like a fucking stupid ass ant or aardvark, whatever. <laughs> Hard fuck. Yeah. But a real man, real men do want natural because we want something real and authentic. Because honestly, when they change plastic surgery, they not only change them, they change their character. So natural women. Lindsay Rodriguez says, "So true. You dropping jewels." Yeah. Go ahead. So real, real men like a woman natural because they're gonna be naturally okay. We already know half of y'all, a lot of y'all, crazy anyway. But at least with the plastic surgery. That shit amplifies it because a lot of times when people change something different about them physically, it changes them mentally. Because then when women get their little body is nipped and tucked, now all nah, of a sudden, well, now all of a sudden you're too good to talk to me and all this. But I can laugh and be like, "Yo, you had to pay for this shit. Yeah. You're not the MVP. <laughs> your surgeon is. That's, Nip Tuck is your that's hero. true though. I, I know a girl. I will not name her name, but she was perfectly fine with her husband. She went and got that daggone gastric bypass. And all of a sudden, he was not good enough for no, her. No, and, 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 and look, I'm going to say this. Thing. And that was the only thing and that so, happened. I was like, so, that's wrong. So women don't think I'm just bashing. It's the same for bitch-ass motherfuckers who get money. I laugh at them because the same time they're saying I get all these bad jumps, like, dog, I seen your baby mom. She was it's built, panic. It's like your baby mom's was built like T. Grizzly. Stop no. it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. It's, it's, cut that bullshit out. You wasn't getting hoes but until the money. Mm -hmm. But back to what you, uh, I'm saying, it's like, you're destroying not only your mental health, but your, your physical. That shit takes a toll on you. And then having a better body is not going to keep you a man. That's, you're That's just going to be passed around. You're going to be the same chick that he's going to be sent to his homies' photos. Like, yo, are this you, is my Are you tired of seeing those? Yes, I'm tired of it because at the same time, I mean, what it, it all goes back to accountability. Get to the fucking gym. Work on your diet. Respect the process of things. When natural women pro like naturally get themselves right, it is so sexy. And so because that shows dedication, that mm -hmm. shows commitment, that shows that you actually love yourself. Yeah. When you have to get all these n work, she this, these, these, all this shit, it shows me you're not really confident in yourself. So don't ever walk around saying, "Oh, I'm truly, I'm me, and I'm confident." You really, you literally are paradox. You're literally, what's the other word I'm saying? I'm trying to. Uh, you're really. Not not um contradicting. Yourself. Contradicting, yes. I'm sorry. I was thinking of paradox for some reason, okay. but same. But you're contradicting self love when you have to do that shit because I guarantee you this: if niggas was out maybe there, maybe not all the time. Though. No, ninety five percent of the yeah, time. Because if men out there, if there was a, a operation where men could get to six foot three, and yeah. we did that shit, we would get clowned for that. <laughs> men are getting. Um, Penis yeah. implants now, though. Uh, yeah, I, that's a whole other story. But I'm talking about when it comes to perception. See, don't no, want to talk about that. No, no, no. The that's thing the is same about shit. It's no, the same no, shit. No, it's not even that. Because if I got $200 million in the bank, my dick is 10 inches anyway. So, that's true. That's true. That's true. So, money surpasses anything. Okay, if, light skin. Go ahead, light skin. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yes. At the end of the day, that is very true. At the end of the day, I'm sick of this bullshit. Sit your asses down. Stop trying to be like the next bad bitch and be your own uh, self. Don't even be a bad bitch. Be a, a lady. Okay, but as a okay, so let me talk from a woman's perspective uh -huh. though, because what you're saying, I totally agree with. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Totally agree. I let people make whatever decision they want, but I do get tired of it. It's like, come on, man. Like we can all. It's something beautiful about people being different sizes That's and the different. Whole point. Yeah, right. yeah, right. BBWs are beautiful in their way. Skinny but as women, a woman mm -hmm. who is inundated with these images, as mm -hmm. young teenagers who are inundated with these images, mm -hmm. what responsibility do you guys feel you have as men? Do I don't you have... think that this has been more so per perpetuated by men? Hell no, women. Or first women? of all, women compete with women far more than. And if they think women sexually put more pressure on themselves than men, once again. To, a, to attract men, though. No, but. Yes, no, they compete with each other to no, attract men. No, to attract men. fuck niggas. There's a difference. Well, no, 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 because here's the thing. Rich dudes are No, not... no, no. Rich dudes are fuck niggas. Just no. because. Yes. Rich men can be fuck niggas. It's your content of your character that makes you a fuck nigga. That's a state of being, not what's in your wallet. I, that's what Ooh. I'm saying. 
I have a friend, Lindsay Rodriguez said, I have a friend who went to Miami and got a BBL on her husband's dime and divorced oh, them after on, they man. came back home. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you, like, once, I'm a you, savage. once you get that, <laughs> that's my point. Once you, once you think, and, and here's the thing, that friend is going to get fucked over by a bunch of dudes because, first of all, it's like this. But she As left I the see, one person who probably yeah, really cared about her. You the one person that, that truly cared who, for, for who yeah, you are. Yeah, and yeah. you're going to get tossed around. Yeah. And then you're going to say men ain't shit. And Just gonna, for an image. And in the words of mm -hmm. Kevin said, you're going to die alone. And I'll be there to laugh. Because mm -hmm. you are a fool. You're putting yourself out there. You're trying to reach a certain level that you're never going to get. Because, first of all, if you got to get surgery to have an ass, then you're not where you think you should be. Naturally, work your way up to the top. That's what I'm saying. A lot of women, a lot but of times. But Kylie Jenner didn't have no lips. She just had baloney slices. I know slices. she had nothing, but at the same oh, time, like she I had baloney slices. Yes, yeah, she That's did. All she, like had. I said, she really did. Look her, at the old pictures. Her surgeons. I will are, say I understand. It. Her surgeons are the heroes, not her. <laughs> not her. And okay. first of all, she was young as shit when she got it. You could have grown into that shit. Results. You could have grown into that shit if you would have. Exercise regularly, have a diet. What's up, Jay? Thanks for watching. All that shit. So that's my thing. Respect the fucking process of life and stop, stop putting your your validation in the hands of fuck niggas. I don't give a shit if Megan Thee Stallion or Cardi B say I want a nigga looking like such and such. I don't care what they think. That's their opinion. But that's that. Okay, but what that's you're talking from people. right now that's is weak. male privilege. Though. No, that's no. That's, no, yeah, let me no, let me let me hold I, on. I, I let said me break it again. It down. Women compete with other women. No, oh, you're talking from a male pr privilege standpoint. Okay, the reason I'm why sorry. you can say, "Oh, if Meg Thee Stallion said they only wanted this kind of man, I wouldn't care," is because y'all aren't inundated with that. We are. No, we are too. First no. of all, first of all, men get no. ridiculed just as much, if not worse. I'm gonna tell you. You're not. You're not okay. inundated with only people who look like ghosts from power, <laughs> constantly getting the women. Well, first of all, you're not. Well, first of all, with ghosts from power, that's a perception and a false image. So that's the thing. What I'm saying is money, mm -hmm. and usually mm -hmm. because of the patriarchy in this country, men typically have a little bit more money, right? Money changes the playing field for y'all. So you can look at somebody like mm -hmm. um, Harvey Weinstein. You can mm -hmm. look at somebody... Is that money? Well, Harvey, no, that's different because that's power, well, no, not money. Well, any, I'm, I'm just saying, even power. Yeah. Because of how, how men are in this society, <clears throat> you can look like the bottom of a shoe. Mm -hmm. And you have mm -hmm. all these other things that you can have mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter. You can still have that that girl who looks like that. Mm -hmm. You can still have somebody where we. You're, so you're. So it's not. It's not that the standard is you have to look like Ghost from Power. Our standard is you need to look like Cardi B. Yeah. You need to look like Meg Thee Stallion. You need to look like these people. Yeah. If like, you don't have a fat ass, you're you're well, you're less valuable. If you don't have this, you're less valuable. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this to attract. That's true. To attract what? There's the biggest I'm, difference. No, there's a difference when men are. It's just advertising. No, it's, no, it's yeah. the, no, no. It's there's a difference. If I have money and if I'm not willing to look, I don't need money to find a quality wife. I if I have money and I use that, I'm using that just to fuck a bitch and keep and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. There's the difference. The problem with a lot of women is you want to create a foundation with a dude that ain't worth shit. Men out there know that's a when, different. That's, no, a, that's a whole different. Men know out there. You see what she said. I get what wow. she's saying, but the the problem is a lot of women rely on what uh, the perspective of a fuck nigga instead of no, a No, stop talking of, about of that. She, she's saying why she wants to look like another woman. No, no, she wants to look. You have to look at no, a not certain another. Way. She wants to look. Your at body has the, to be a certain no, way. No, and you don't because at the same time there's a reason why. You, it's not saying you no, don't. No, women. She, that's no, what you're getting we, every day. real men like the the beauty of a woman of the best of her body, what she looks like. Real men say that. But I, what I experience, mm -hmm. men say that, but y'all lust after women who look like that. No, lust, so so no, it's a double-minded But fucking experience. and loving is two different things. I understand, but I'm just speaking as a, as a, as a okay. woman or a little girl growing up in this society. Okay. What you're saying is true. We shouldn't even be following yeah. like fuckboy stuff. But it's not just fuckboys who like those type of things. Let's, let's not. Yeah, but we're men. We're very visual yeah, yeah, and simple. Yeah. yeah, but just because I like it don't mean I want to pursue that in the long run. The problem with that, what you're saying Tiffany is... Tiffany Smalley, somebody's cousin. Shout out to my big cousin, AJ. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> thank you, Tiff. Thank you, Tiff. Love you. I appreciate your support. Yes, she's a real you. one. She's married and she's happy. Good. Mm. Good, Tiffany. No, you know why? Because she didn't follow that bullshit picture. <laughs> she, she with a real man. <laughs> Shout out to him. Real man out there handling his business and taking care of things and doing his thing. Awesome. Because, Shout out to the real man. Yeah, because that's my point. But what you're saying, like, what you were saying is, though, you don't have, you look to the real men. No like doubt, the, Lindsay. Women like 
Men like women who look to the best of their abilities because there are certain women like I give you a prime example. I like Zoe da Zaldana the mm -hmm. way she is. Yeah. She don't need a big ass for me. She's fine the way she is. Yes. But if she got that, that would be a for me. A, but she's slim, right? She's slim. But she's, she's hold on. I'm, I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a prime example. Okay. Because I'm glad you brought her up. She's slim. Mm -hmm. I think because we are a certain age. Okay. That's okay. You can you can like the plastic body and you can like a Zoe's. I don't like plastic body. I'm just saying, like at the at the age, but at the same time, Coily Ray is bullied every day for being slim. All right, well, and she no, she's I, she's bullied. They that. say you don't I, have no cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be okay, twerk, but you know, and she's famous. But here's my problem. That's from the young generation. Yeah, but, but that's but, what I'm saying. But, here's but, my, but because no. it has gone on, for it's, so it's long. a bigger thing. The problem is a lot of women out there just don't like being rejected. Get over that no, bullshit. Okay. That's He's fucking life. No, no, it is. Because every time a woman is not liked for something, it's a big deal. But men have to deal with that shit at the end of the day. If you're not liked for what you are, you have to fucking accept it. Like, I'm going to tell you what. If a motherfucking man is ugly, he just ugly. <laughs> if you don't have bills, you ugly. There's no, oh, oh well, well, due to his track record. man with money. Uh, no. You can give me No. Fuck the money. I'm talking about if you don't have money, you're just fucking bailed out. Okay. Like, not HIV, but with the AIDS, you just full blown <laughs> with the shit. There is no you. There is no hope. That's my point. You're gonna have to take rejection sometime okay. in life. A lot of women out there don't want to hear the fact that you're not everybody's cup of tea. Deal with the shit. We do all the time. Yeah, but you're not inundated like we are, is what you're not. No, getting. you weren't programmed like we are. We were programmed <laughs> to have reality. A lot of y'all weren't programmed. Uh, I was oh, because what I what I lack in the back, I pack in the cat and the mind, so I don't really care. That's fine. But but, but that's the thing. But you you have realistic uh, expectations of yourself. Yeah. But a lot of women out there aren't. You got. A but woman. I'm trying to tell you why they don't. Yeah, because you were raised that way. There's a lot of women out there who were raised to go. Well, just because yeah, you can be you can have two chins and still get that guy with eight packs. That's how it works. And if he doesn't, he you think that's gonna Kevin Samuels? No. I know it. No. It's <laughs> Reality. I'm gonna tell you the realest shit I've heard from one of my homies. If you want someone extraordinary, you need to be extraordinary. You cannot unbalance shit. That's the problem with people in society today. People think they can look any way and expect to be accepted by someone. You can someone if you're else. a man. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Every man out here don't have fucking. Go to an NBA dollars. game. Look at that front row. What do you mean? See the men and see the women that's on their arms. The niggas got money. There's exactly. A whole, oh, but but no. I'm, I'm telling you, the, but the position every, of the society. No matter how you look. But yeah. every man out here don't have money like that. No. And you're talking about the exceptions of the rules. How many multi-millionaire motherfuckers are out there that ain't famous or ain't like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? But every woman don't have money to get BBL. But you don't need to. You have far more no, options No, no, no. What I'm saying is I'm okay. talking about okay. what, how it how it messes okay. with the psyche. I, and I apologize. Go ahead. No, no, say no, that. No, say, no. You can yell and everything. No, no, I came from a loud no, black family. No, I don't no, even no, get offended. No, but I want to I want to hear more what you're saying. What I'm saying I'm is missing. the psyche. Sorry, the psyche. And mm -hmm. I can see it changing even more. Okay. So, so when, in my era, mm -hmm. when I came up in the 90s, most of the women were natural. Mm -hmm. And if, like, if you look, if you want to see a prime example, look at the um, rump shaker video. Mm -hmm. it's, it was a video about ass, but they were really natural butts. Mm -hmm. So then we started seeing plastic surgery get bigger and bigger and bigger, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. Now mm -hmm. Lil' Kim looks like a mannequin. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. But mm -hmm. it was still more accepted to be natural. That's right. As it has gone on, 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 it's really pushed to women's psyche. You're not good enough. You... No, I mean, you're cool and all, but if you just had this body like this, right. if you just did this, you could be insta-famous. You could right. do this. You could be this. Oh, no. They won't. That rapper's not going to look at you. Whereas, though, back in the day, the groupies, all they had to do was show up at the, at the door and be like, hey. Now, they're going to kick you out of the line. Mm -hmm. They're going to kick you out of the line for being dark-skinned. Mm -hmm. it, it is a situation going on right now. It is. That's sad. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is I hear men saying, oh, we don't care about that. Black is beautiful. We like dark melanin. We like this. We like that. We like natural bodies. But that's not the energy I'm really seeing. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Well, 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 well. Soon, Ish Talk will be part of the BB uh, <laughs> BBW uh, convention. Or I saw that. I wanted to grab that one ass yeah, on the screen. I was like, yeah, we gonna, we, the first one. Yeah. I'm Ish gonna, Talk love my, big women. No, Ish Talk love all type of women. I love. The beauty of a woman is amazing. Hey. I like all sizes. And for me, and for real men out there, what we really love is sexual confidence in a woman. 
that's the thing that a lot of women, yes. a lot of women don't catch that you could be a certain shape, but if you go look, I got some good shit right here, and I'm gonna fuck you until you dizzy. Then I'm gonna knock we at know your door. a girl right now. Yeah, uh, I know a few women that I like. I'm just like, the way they talk. Yeah, the there was a chick that I knew years ago. She was like, "Yeah, um, I know I'm not built like these models, but they can't do what I can do. Exactly. They don't have the mouth I got. I'm like." Yeah, that, yeah, Eddie Jazz left some BB, BBW. Yeah, BBW is yeah. where it's no, at. Yeah. All, there's all type of women. I've, I didn't yeah. have BBWs, slim, thick. I've had petite women where I put it in. I'm like, oh, where is all this going? And, you know, <laughs> I'm like, Lord have mercy. But that's what I'm. That and I get, I get what y'all saying. But, Where's all this going? Yeah, because she took everything, and I was like, Lord have mercy. And I'm like, shoot, shoot. I'm glad I had Magnum today. Shout out to them. Yeah, Y'all with these, them. let's talk about that. Stop putting these Magnums on that they, they don't really fit. Stop it. I'm going to tell you this right now, fellas. First of all, if she <laughs> call you to hit more than three times, your shit ain't small. Well, Scientifically that's, that's speaking, true. if I do it more than three times and... Or she need her light bill paid. No, mm. Nah, fuck that, nah. Like I said, when I have, if you get, if you're paying, I, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Me. If I'm paying, I'm 10 inches, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But... I'm talking about if all you have nothing to offer is the dick. And <laughs> if, scientifically speaking, I got you. Because you didn't have to call me three t more than three times. And then if I just, all I do is send nasty stuff and you, and you respond back nasty the same way, I got you. So don't, if, I, if we're done, don't say I'm two inches now because then I'll just have to back it up with evidence. But my whole, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> but my issue is, it's who people are following that decides was beauty because beauty is an eye to beholder. So True. stop trying to look a, a exact carbon copy of what you see because realistically, like I said, I'll give you a prime example. The Rock is one of my inspirations when it comes to bodybuilding, mm -hmm. but I'm not trying to be Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, please don't I, you lose your neck. No, it's anything. not even that. I know biologically <laughs> I can't because he's he's genetically he's built different. Fuck, first of all, fucker is. Eight inches taller than me, and mm -hmm. his body frame is bigger than mine. So most men know, be the best of our abilities. What can I do to make my body be the best of where I need to be? A lot of I'd women. I'd be interested out there, to see though if yeah. if you guys would still be that way if you were inundated with the images as much as we are. Well, you put a lot of women put that on themselves because no, it's no, it's, it's in everything. I, you know why I say this because here's the thing: if you know why women like men like trophy women. We use that to go fishing because here's the problem. Here's the issue. A lot of women, they compete. So if a chick today sees me with Rihanna, right, and Rihanna's all over me, a bad chick like that saying, mm -hmm. man, AJ's hey, the man, like, he's this, he's slanging, he's doing it. I come 40 times a day. And then I talk to a... <laughs> Not 40. I, whatever. I talk to an average chick on the street and I give her the same attention. She's going to feel, damn, if he's talking to me... I'm on that same level. Yeah, that's as her. pimping. That's no, no, but my point is, it's really not because I'm the one getting more of the benefit because she really is, and I'm just hitting and, and splitting. But in her mind, she's feeling, well, damn, I'm on the same level because he's talking to me when it's not. Men know we that shit don't work like that for us. If Rihanna did come right now, she say, look, I'm gonna hit the, you gonna hit this and you ain't gonna say nothing. Okay. But the difference is, y'all will pretty much. Do that and hit her or whatever. With women, mm -hmm. we it, it's almost to the point that has been inundated not just in our in our brain but in men too, mm -hmm. where men will even do underhanded compliments. Like they'll say, "You'd be real bad if you if your titties was right here." Mm. Or you'd be man if you if you had a if your butt was different, you'd mm. be dangerous. Don't women say the same thing? You cute if you would be cuter if you were six foot three. Never said that shit to if no you man. You no, didn't I, say. I've never said nothing right, like that to right, a man. That's, I'm just okay. I'm that's another thing that I kills me about women when they do this shit. Never. I ain't say that. Oh my god! So all of a sudden you, you be cute if you some money. Right. All of a sudden, every woman when I when now I, I've heard that one. I ain't saying no, I have heard you be cute if you some money. I've talked to a lot of female friends and they say, "Well, I never said it. I just heard you." Say this show on Thursday. You didn't hear me say it. Not you, but I'm just saying. First of all, I'm aware that I'm rare. No, I'm, for, I am not no, in this For a lot of women out there, they act like they've never said it. Well, I ain't never say such a thing. Yes, you did. You know you did. Stop fucking lying. You ain't the exception to the rule. You know damn well you said if this dude was six foot two and he dunked from the three throw line and he had a Lambo <laughs> in the backyard, you'd give him some ass. But my thing is, I've told women, God did this to me for a reason. If I was six five, you think I'd talk to you? 
Damn. First of all, I'd be coming off the bench from the Bucks as a tight end, and you would never Damn. be in my sights. No, but this is the reality <laughs> because I think, like, when it comes to men and women, there are, there are certain things. It's like, okay, a woman could get 40 likes, but it'd be from, it's the, they think more of the quantity, mm. quality, quantity instead of the quality. Like, I, I'll say this. If Beyonce, Holly Berry, Neil Long followed me, those are the only three women, but a chick had 100,000 followers of other Bama niggas, I would look at her and say, you're stupid. <laughs> I have Holly Berry, Holy Berry, Neil Long, and Beyonce liking my pics. You didn't say Holy me. Berry. <laughs> what you got? So that's the problem. A lot of women out there are fooled by numbers instead of realizing I got the Earl from the gas station. Right. I got Earl. But, but yeah, your examples like, is a prime example. Women are not being told or given images to say that Nia Long is acceptable anymore. That's what I'm saying. No, but the thing is, a lot of women out there think that they're on that level when they really aren't. There's the reality of it. Okay. That's the reality. Like, those type of women out there. So on one hand, you're saying be confident in who you are. On the other hand, you're saying you think you're better than you are. No, but you just, average. You've been no, watching Kevin no, Sanders. It, I'm no, not it's stupid. not that. It's not that. It's be the best of who you are and stop trying to be something else. My thing is... If you feel you're Neil Long, be fine. Just don't shit on anybody else. And that goes for me, yeah, too. that's for Because everybody. I'll give you a prime example. It's about, like, there's a certain group of dudes I used to talk to. They say they get hoes. And I say, that's cool. That's what you like? I respect that. Mm -hmm. Just don't come from my shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, AJ get these ugly type of junk. AJ do this. Mind your business. Mm -hmm. Nah, you really do. All right, now I got four receipts. All right, hold on. You say you talk to this girl, huh? I just talked to her. I just happened to know her. She said she never heard of you. Wait this a guy. minute. Wait a minute. You said this, but you I got was, pictures. Of, I, I, know, I know one thing. You were crucial in high school. It, I was. I'm crucial now. He because, was crucial nah, in high school. Nah, he wasn't. He wasn't. I'm he wasn't. crucial <laughs> now because no. Back in my old days, I used to let shit slide because I was sometimes. You can put that next slide. I would sometimes the last be one. the fools of things, but he would always bring me back because there was times where I'm like, man, they living it up. Be more like, hey, AJ. You think they do? It's her daddy paying for that shit, not yeah. her. Because, but one thing I do respect, Prince of Moon always. Knew the reality of the situation. He'd be like, uh -huh. AJ, that didn't go that way. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to worry about. You All right, do. so if you know the reality the situation, why do my fingernails look like this? You can look like whatever you want. No. You was, you was part me. of some sort of golf, a golf, what is it? In the black leather jacket. Look, you suck somebody's no, blood. I'm a master colorist. All I do is color hair. So even if I have gloves on when I shampoo, it gets. But people think that my hands are dirty, but they're not. You, you didn't have like a face where you were like in, in a like golf shit? Me? Yeah. No. She's a hip hop always, I don't I've always think... been my own. I do listen to all types of different music, but I've always just had my own style. Okay. Mona but Brown, like, like you, you give me the vibes where it's like, I, look, yeah. I fuck you up. <laughs> and I'm all here for this. I'm here for that. I'm We gotta get to the next topic. Bro. I will support <laughs> that. Next topic, bro. I like that demeanor. Thank you got you. to look like, I'll fuck you up. Thank you. And that's a good thing. Most What's women the out there, women the out there, if you have that What's mindset, the the if you, you have me. that mindset, Look, he'll say bye to Kate Michelle. Like, look, she too much trouble. This woman says she gonna fuck me up. Yeah. I need that. Real men out there want to be fucked up. Lindsay, hit me up. My salon is Salon Irie, or you can find me on Instagram at This Is Mona Brown. You see my various businesses on there. But says, yeah, I can definitely color your hair. No problem. So, so my message is: be who you are. Just don't think you're better than others. Don't try to put down others. Even if you are better than that, don't worry about that. Yeah. I know there's certain things out there. I'm like, yo, you would never get a to open these fraternity <laughs> pictures. And I don't have any plastic surgery. I'm not saying that if I didn't have a wealth of money, I wouldn't do a nip and tuck or something. But on the other hand, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to risk my life for right. something like that. I, I say that shit, but yeah. if, if nip tuck came out here right now, so I can be 6'3", yeah, it's, like, 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 it's like, I don't know. But what I will say is without all that, I still have people... Hiding in my bushes. If anyone who knows me, I have had numerous stalkers. So you don't have to have all that because if you have something special and rare, people are going to be attracted. They're not going to want to let you go. They're not, you know, it's it's going to you're going to have admirers. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. ladies, mm -hmm. leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and their pockets full of groom. Now that had nothing to do with it, but I wanted to say that. Okay, cool. Next subject, last one, because we're going over time a little bit. Hip hop Mount Rushmore. So of course, you know, we could go on and on about the old school Mount Rushmore, who belongs on it. We kind of already mm -hmm. have had that conversation. Your your show. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about more of the new school. Oh. So somebody put this picture up. I do agree with Drake being on there. No matter what you feel about him, I agree with that. 
Yes. Um, I agree with Kendrick because I love Kendrick. <laughs> I agree with Cole. Love Cole too. Who would you trade out and who would you put in the middle? Who, I was having a hard time. I was that, thinking Who's that in the in the uh who's that next right? to Cole? No, it's, it's a nobody. question mark. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I was about to say Look, if, Keith Sweat. If, if say, <laughs> that could be Kanye West for all I know. MC yeah, Keith Sweat was like, how you reading that? <laughs> On the thing. That's MC, MC No who? Name. MC Who. <laughs> it's okay. Nah, I got I got mine, but it, it the people will never put him at that level, but I will just because of his growth and production and his style, mm -hmm. but it's a personal favorite. Now, I wouldn't put him on there like for the overall public, mm -hmm. but for me personally. Okay. I'm gonna go with Rose, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. I okay. put him the reason why is because his growth. Of, he to me is what and and I'm not saying this that he's a replica, but he gives he reminds me of what Jay was in the early years, the trap life and then growing but to be But is business. he very relevant today? I would say yes, because if you think about it, when it comes to luxury rap, he influenced a lot of people to talk no, about No, I love Rick Ross, but I don't... What the hell? Oh. But I don't think that he's as relevant today. I'm saying who would be put on there, like... I mean, for me, I, I, I like the Drake and the Kendrick and the Cole. Uh, if you have to put someone else up there, shit, I mean, it, it's hard. I mean, are right, we talking about overall... An artist that did lyrics and who you would listen to on a regular basis um or or even it doesn't even have to be your favorite person but who do you think is is set to be in that spot in hip-hop to me uh -huh. i don't think he's there yet but if i had to pick someone from the rappers now who will if he keeps going the way he will be in that spot it's Lil baby and i know that might shock people but he He's doing it like really quietly, but he is really gaining a lot of popularity. His albums are strong. Everybody wants to collab with him. He kind of has that that <clears throat> whole. Um, you can see it. I can see him being like the next big person. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I could see it. I could see it happening, but I don't know who else. Like if it was up to me, I put like Big Crit, but he's not relevant to most people right now. You well, know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, you, you well, oh, I, I, I love Crit. I, I love everything. I would have to agree with DJ Consequence and take away uh, Drake because he don't deserve to be in there. What? I don't need nobody from Canada to be in an American <laughs> uh, monument. Okay, <laughs> anybody from Canada? Nah. That's not fair. That's fair. Drake this has is from Mount Rushmore. Spot. This is in America. It has to be. Mount Rushmore was originally a native, uh, an indigenous and people Black Hills. thing, no, and I'm they not... took it. Okay. So Drake can be on there. It's okay. Okay. And we're going to have, um, what's the name of that uh, dude that was part of Odd Future? Tyler, the creator. Tyler, yeah, I will put him in that question mark because. Oh, no. Okay. Every, okay. Let's talk about Tyler because everyone, okay, I'm not a huge Tyler fan, right? Me neither. Okay. And everybody's like, oh, this last album, you gotta listen to it. I, what am I not getting? It's not trash, but I don't understand why everybody is so obsessed with Tyler. Fam, I, I, I would put Kanye in before I do that shit. I'm nah. sorry. Yeah, I, but he's not really as relevant right now either. I mean, He will be, though, because he's getting a divorce. My, my like, thing is, fire music. that's why I have a problem with today's... Uh, Hip hop because mm -hmm. it there's nothing that stands. Bam, out. you always say that, but she already told you on the other show. No, she said, said there's, there's music out there. No, you just gotta look out. No, for you it. do, but it, it doesn't have the same type of. It doesn't make you feel the same. Yeah, it doesn't have the long. But it's not, that's you. No, no, no. But give me an album. I mean, uh, outside of Kendrick and uh, J Cole, you said the same no, thing. Kendrick has two albums that stand the hands of time. That is the Pimp a Butterfly, to me, was just a Spike Lee joint mm. on or, or, times 10,000. And then you have his first one, uh, Good Music. Uh, fuck, what's Section 80 was the first one. Then you talk, you no, know, that's the mixtape. I'm talking about the actual album. You're talking album. about Good Kid, Good, Mad Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah, but Those, Damn was dope, too. No, that's what I'm saying. Damn was dope, but to me, Good, uh, good Mad Kitty. Uh, good, uh, <laughs> Mad, Mad Kitty. Mad, Mad Kitty. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. She has some mad kitty. You see what I'm thinking about. Mad City, I'm sorry. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> Pimp a Butterfly. Brown got that wild Those, kitty. <laughs> I ain't going to... Hey! I be hiding in the bushes like, hey! James Brown no, no. in the bushes. And I'm sorry. That's so stupid. For me, like I said, Mad City, I'm sorry. Mad City and the uh -huh. Butterfly stands the hands of time. 20 to 30 years 
go by. Yeah. You're going to know those albums. That's what I'm saying. With J. Cole, to me, I my favorite joint is um, uh, Born Center. Okay. You're going to know that album years to come by. Uh, and you're going to know Take Care by Drake. That's the closest thing to a classic, Take but care. to me personally, he doesn't have a classic. Like it never Take care stood. is a classic. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's the closest thing to a classic, but it's still not. And he ruined it when he played practice. Back that ass, I'm going to be in them. I was like, juvenile, I hope you get 90% of the royalty from this shit. Cause this was a disgrace. Um, no, the disgrace is, is, girl, you look good once you vax that thing up. That's the disgrace. No, but was that's, it? That's what I'm saying. Was though. it? Come on, was, that, was that a money grab? That was a money no, grab. No, see, but this... I, that's see, sad, though. And, and as hi, a true hip-hop heads, I came from a time where... You know, I grew up with Illmatic, Wu Tang, of 36 on, Chambers. Bro. Tyler and the Creator. No. Somehow, he, for an 18 year old, that's what he has. Yeah, we have to we have Just to get the, to the point where we accept kids, it. If, you're about, out, if you're talking about 18 year old, Nas okay, uh, had Illmatic at 18. Hey, there's so kids what's your out point? there that's like want to commit suicide, but Tyler the Creator music. And Triple X and, and, and triple NBA. X. I'm trying, my, so, my kids. Be talking it's about it. Powerful. It's serious. It's powerful. We don't get it, but that it, it's a thing. He's right. Yeah, He's and, very I, right. And, and that's for them. But for me, like to me, once again, it what stands the hands of time. Give me a song. Soon you gonna you gotta put NBA Young Boy on, mm -hmm. on that with his uh, bullet in his head. I'm what, not doing that head? shit. Oh, uh, oh. little Uzi Vert. Nah, nah. You know uh, what? NBA Young Boy got someone no. on his head, but he should be on there. I mm -hmm. like no. In this era, I like the fact that they express who they are. And I can respect that because okay. all of them aren't gangster. And I like how the yeah, fact that I do they, like that. I like that a lot of these Uzis and all that they they show different aspects of the black community because for so long it was either you were hardworking or you were fucking hood. Yeah. No, I like the fact that you have suburban. We have skateboarders. Kids, skateboarders. We have, yeah. Now do don't like get that. me wrong, Pharrell put people onto that, but but I, I think like Wayne. Wayne too, but no, okay. Wayne did that shit later on down the mm. line when he was on that lean and shit. But I'm talking about the ones that grew up suburbanized. Hey, yeah. this is what I was about from the beginning. I had the vans. I okay. had this. I don't mind that in this era. I like that. Express yourself. Mm. But I guess for me, it's the, still the quality doesn't hit the same for me as the 90s, the 80s, and the early 2000s. But that's just me. For these young people out there, if this is your Rushmore, I say go for it. Do you like YBN Corday? They're all right. I mean, like I like a little bit of it. I I always try to dabble as a hip hop person. I listen to everything. Like I I had I'm a song. As a hip hop, you yeah. I listen. Corday? We were listening to a song down here by uh, Lil Baby when he was like, he said, "I know how I feel with the love of chick that guy ran through." I felt that. <laughs> I know how it feels. That shit hurt me. I hit that hit my soul hard because mm -hmm. a couple years ago I felt that. I was like. I was like, I was like that SpongeBob meme mm. when he had the hand on the on the rocky move. That was me. So, so a yeah. sixteen year old probably heard that verse and probably felt the same way. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Put him on there. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Put I'm little never, baby on yeah, there. Yeah, I'm not gonna shit on the new generation. I'm just this saying, is what who, going through. if it's not little baby, who else do y'all think would get on that spot? I don't think there's anybody else right now. No. I'm trying to tell you, he's killing it. No, and if you really watch, and what he's I was going, gonna he's say future, but you can't put him with nah, this group. Nah, 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 mm -mm. Nah, nah, nah. But honestly, you can't put Kendrick with this. Shit, Kendrick, I mean, Kendrick to me, what uh, Section Eighty was like? What 2000? Well, I guess the 2010s. You can mm -hmm. put him there. I take that back. I apologize. You can, you can put him there because Good Mad City came out 2012. Well, the, the thing I'm I'm thinking with this is they're just saying like who's still relevant? Like who like when somebody's dropping an album, who gets, you know, people get excited about. It. They still get excited about a Drake release. They still get excited about Kendrick and J. Cole. That's true. That Even though true. they're kind of now becoming more old. Like my they my, are my older. youngest is like, "Oh, that's kind of that's old." That's why I'm sitting here like looking at this list. I'm like, that's more of like for that's still kind of us because yeah. Drake been out since God knows long, how long. I, I remember my, my man's in college put me on a Drake, and that was like 08 or 07. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, so that's why I say they technically were in the uh, early 2000s. So Future, well, yeah, Future would be a good one. Future, because the way I see it, Future handled, like, he had his, he did his thing. and Future had a run, but he don't deserve to be on Mount Rushmore. All right, Come well, on. Okay, okay. Come on. Like, let's not do that. I won't put him on Mount Rushmore, to... but at the same time. I'd rather have Rick Ross than Future on there. Yeah. I mean, for, for me, I, I would say Rick Ross deserves it, but he's not going to get that credit because he, it, Rick Ross had shit where it was commercial, but it wasn't. Like pop commercial, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was us. It was us. Like he did shit for the culture, which I can fucking respect. Yeah. Like 
that's why I say when it comes to Rushmore's, there's two Rushmore's. Rushmore for the commercial and Rushmore for the culture. True. Mm. So if we're going to talk about for the culture, mm. Kendrick and Cole can be on there. Drake will get the fuck off. Do you do y'all feel any women deserve to be on the hip hop hop Mount Rushmore? Mm. Missy Elliott. Um, Missy it depends on the criteria. If we're talking the, about well-rounded artistry, yeah. Missy Elliott. For, for the Rushmore, Missy, depends. Missy. The reason why um, I don't typically bring up too many female rappers, when, when even though right now we are having a renaissance in female rap, and there's a lot of dope female rappers out there. Yes. Lots. Not just females who are just talking about sex, but like bars, bars, bars. And even on the battle rap scene. So I do think we will get somebody. But the reason why I don't is I believe that females have been in a box for so long, so the, so the ones that do get big, they, their content tends to be the same. Mm -hmm. So if you're asking me, you're going to call me an old head because I would put Lauren Hill up um, discography, but as far as just rapping, being dope, um, being versatile, being able to sing, whatever, whatever, I would put Lauren Hill, but she really gets disqualified, if I'm mm. being honest, because she doesn't have enough. Yeah, now if we're gonna But go, Missy is dope. Yeah, if we're going to go there, Missy, shit, the, ex, the bar, she set the bar high because Missy can give you comedy, real shit, sex, all that she stuff. She can write. She can write. Mm -hmm. She does everything. Her videos. I'm sitting here like, yo, Missy. Missy took me, like, I've been a fan since I heard her in MC Lights, I Rock the Party, that Rock mm -hmm. the Party. When she came out with that shit, when she was rapping on there, I was stuck on the hee 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 Puff Daddy, make it cream. <laughs> hey, look, she was just doing this shit. So, yeah, no, Missy, Missy is, I, I would put Missy up there because she can artistically hold her own. She was in her own lane, and she, yeah, nah, Missy, but yeah, for the most part, yeah, of course we know it's a male-dominated Yeah, we're thing. getting there, though. It's yeah. getting better. We're getting now, there. Now, I want to sure. ask you this, then. If you had to go overall, rappers, for your route much more, give me four. All over? The overall. Oh. I'll let you. We're going to let the guest start with that one. The guest. Um, just, <laughs> I mean, the guest. <laughs> shit, guest in my heart. <laughs> I meant to say the host. I'm sorry. I, I meant to say host. I'm All sorry. right, and I'm going to end it with this. my house. I'm going right. to end it with this because we don't, we don't went I'm over a, on time. I'm but if it was my Mount Rushmore, this is my personal Mount Rushmore as far as artistry, lyrics, everything. It would be Tupac. It would be Kendrick. It would be Andre 3000. Oof. And it would be... Ooh, it's going to be hard. This is hard. Shit, the first three, though, that album would be crazy. Um, We'd be revolutionary. Uh, Pop pill popping uh enthusiasm. Maybe ghost face. Ghost face. Oh now she threw a gutter person oh, yeah. in there. Yeah. I'll fucking slush you up with the sword while I put your mom on the board. I like that shit. Now get in line, <laughs> punk, before you get your little thick ass tossed up. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I studied under Bruce Lee, nigga. He was on the fourth. <laughs> I was on the third. Right. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dope Dichotomy Podcast. Make sure that y'all like, follow, share, and subscribe. Not just to the Facebook page, but to my YouTube. I'm trying to get my viewers up there. I have fans spread out everywhere, and I'm trying to kind of get them in one place. Yeah. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys coming. It's been great. I knew it was going to be dope. Thank These you. are awesome, awesome, awesome potters, podcasters. Make sure y'all follow Ish Talk TV. Make sure they have really good content. And their social media... Um, it's really dope. They they put like little clips out and I'd be cracking up. So definitely, definitely follow them. Y'all stay tuned next Sunday. I will have um, the Justice for Xavier episode. It was postponed before his mother, Latoya Benton, will be on there. Xavier was murdered by the Virginia State Police in January. As you, If you follow my social media, you've seen us um, share about that and all the protesting that I've done in the last... Um, year for that and other things so if you want to know more about that and his story please 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 tune in next sunday at 8 p.m for justice for xavier hill episode thank you so much and bye